Let's take you now live to the Capitol where Democrats on the Senate Judiciary Committee are calling for Supreme Court ethics reform after revelations of two conservative justices accepting lavish gifts, trips and real estate deals. Many say posed a conflict of interest. But as National Correspondent on Alter Anushar reports, there are constitutional questions about whether a fix can come from Capitol Hill. The notoriously private justices of the Supreme Court now in the spotlight and for all the wrong reasons. New revelations of Justice Clarence Thomas's lavish gifts and trips from a GOP mega donor and a prominent law firm executive purchasing a property co-owned by Justice Neil Gorsuch. Ethics concerns aren't new or exclusive to one side. The late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and former Justice Stephen Breyer were among those who disclosed trips subsidized by influential people. But none of this violates the Supreme Court's code of conduct because there isn't one. In a letter to Senate Judiciary Committee Democrats, Chief Justice John Roberts defends their record, saying they take guidance on ethics issues from sources like scholarly commentary and historical practice. What Roberts describes is more lax than the ethics rules all federal officials, from the president on down, have to follow. But those calling for reform are running into a constitutional quandary. Does the separation of powers give Congress the ability to legislate a formal code of conduct for the Supreme Court? University of Massachusetts Amherst law professor Paul Collins says there's a strong case that they do, as long as it doesn't pertain to their judicial duties. It gets that authority from the Necessary and Proper Clause, which basically gives Congress broad license to pass laws in the furtherance of the power uh, uh, that the government has, which includes the judicial power of the Supreme Court. What's less clear, he says, is who would enforce it. Because you can imagine the potential problem of a case challenging Congress's authority to pass a code of ethics to the Supreme Court that would presumably go to the Supreme Court. According to Gallup, those who say they have a great deal or fair amount of trust and confidence in the judicial branch headed by the Supreme Court started plummeting from 69% in 2019 to 47% late last year for a court that essentially relies on public respect to uphold its decisions. Inaction on this issue could compromise its future. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.